I'm Kathy Benin Costa. I work at Ogden Clinic, UHO, Utah Hematology Oncology. I'm a registered nurse there and I take care of cancer patients. When you get a cancer diagnosis, you really just feel like your life is over. Mm, sorry. You don't know what's coming next around the corner. You don't know if you're gonna live, if you're gonna die, if you're gonna lose body parts like a leg or a breast or even your hair. It's so unknown. And I think that um, it's just such a life-changing thing. But not all for the bad too. It's also good. There's lots of positive things that can come out of being diagnosed with cancer. You, you realize who your real people are you live for that next moment, you appreciate the little things. And that's kind of what I try to explain to my patients. It's just like, what good happened to you today? What can we focus on? What's going on with your kids? What's going on with your family? Let's talk about you know something other than why you're in this room with me. So I really just feel like it, the biggest thing we can give patients as caregivers is hope. I noticed my cancer on my left ankle seven years ago. It was an area that was growing. It was kind of like a little lump and it had doubled in size. And so I um, went and got it checked out by my provider. He um, wanted to run a bunch of tests before doing an MRI, but I felt it was important to get that MRI done and found out that I had cancer. In the end, it ended up me saving my leg by being an advocate for myself. My treatment was pretty intense. It's not like what we do at Utah Hematology Oncology. Um, it was inpatient at Huntsman. I received five different types of chemo over nine months time and it was uh, inpatient. So I would go every two weeks for either three days or five days, get checked in and have treatment around the clock for those days very aggressive cancer and a very aggressive treatment. I think a huge thing for me as a caregiver, a medical professional, um, to support a person going through cancer through chemotherapy is laughter. I really feel like um, sometimes people walk into our infusion room and see us laughing and joking around and being happy and celebrating the little things. That's what's so important. Um, but it really can get their minds off things. It really can help someone who is at their lowest point, who is feeling like maybe tomorrow won't even come, to come in and talk about something other than having this disease. I need people to be brave and be your own advocate because like I said, I have my leg today because I made him get that MRI instead of waiting to get an ultrasound and an x-ray and all those things because I had such an aggressive cancer. Um, he listened to me because I didn't back down. So if you feel in your soul that something is not right, talk to your provider and say, you know, I know my body and we need to go and de dive into this a little deeper. Thank you, I'm Cammie and I'm a cancer survivor.